Hi guys, uh, I'm here with Sophie and Rosie and I'm doing my summer uh, edition of the Most Worn Things tag. So let's get started. Um, with nail polish, I would say that this year, or during the summer, I've been doing gel nails at the salon. The reason I've been doing them is because my nails are very like frail, like they crack and rip off really easily. So um, I actually got a French manicure done to them um, in gel. And gel lasts, it lasts me four weeks, and the only reason I have to start getting them done again in four weeks is because they've grown out. But this time I've decided to do the French manicure look so that I can just paint over them when they get grown out, so we'll see how that goes. But if I wasn't wearing my gel nails, I love these two colors from Sally Hansen, Hard as Nails Extreme Wear line, and it's Hot Magenta and Pacific Blue. And I'm sure you've heard of the Pacific Blue, it's really popular on YouTube right now. But my two main colors I've been wearing a lot, clothing-wise, accessory-wise, is blue and pink. So that's why I really have been enjoying these two colors this summer. Um, hair products-wise, I've really been enjoying this uh, Marine Summer Hair from Faka. This is a detox shampoo, which is great if you're going to be out in the, in the sun a lot or swimming in chlorine a lot. Since I live in Vegas and I'm in the sun, I found this very... Um, practical. I actually got this on clearance at Marshalls for $5, which is very great for Faka products. I also, um, on a day-to-day -day basis, use the Shea Butter and Glossing Faka products, so I just really swear by Faka. For my handbags, I have been using my Topshop bowling bag, which my husband got me for a assistance present for being his administrative assistant in the office. I love this bag. It's got lots of room in there. Um, it has a strap to carry it. I believe they still have this. They rotate colors. I think they went to a mint color recently. So I'd check out if you're interested in this. I think it was around $70. Very fun bag. And then like I said, i am really been into blues lately. So I got this Nine West little um, crossbody bag. And I want to say this I think it was maybe $13, so I thought that was really cute, and I mainly got it for when I was traveling, just to have it, just a lightweight bag while I was um, in the airport and such. All right, shoes. I've been wearing a lot of sandals this summer, and I found these two pairs on clearance at Target, and I just really enjoyed them. This one's a multicolored one. I think I got these for $8, which again, I really like a lot of pink, so those went with my pink stuff, and then these blue and gold accented ones I've been wearing consistently. For accessories, uh, I think a lot of you have noticed in my videos that I'm really into uh, scarves. So this scarf I wear a lot is from Francesca's, francescascollections.com. Just found out that they're online also. This one came from Gap with all the little birds on it. And then this one is actually my newest one and this one came from Nordstrom's. And I know that they still have this one, which is gonna be a great one to bring into fall. But I have a blue skirt that it really matches nicely and a green skirt, so I can go either way with that. Clothing wise, I would say that my most worn clothing item has been my maxi skirts, just long skirts that flow down to the ground, gray, black, I have a blue one, wear them all the time. I get them from Target, they're really reasonably priced, I want to say $16.99 for a maxi skirt at Target and they hold up really well, I uh, really enjoy those ones. For foundation, I've been to using two different things. I have a BB cream from Garnier that I've been really enjoying, I use the light medium and I just use this on average days when I'm not really uh, wanting my skin to be perfect, just kind of want to have sunscreen and protection on my face and light coverage. This is not good coverage. It's very light, minimal coverage. Um, but for when I want to look my best, I use this even better from Clinique. And this also has an SPF of 15 in it. And I find that this just makes my skin look very clear, um, flawless. It has good coverage. I'd say probably medium coverage. I don't really have a lot of blemishes right now, so I haven't really been needing um, great coverage, but really love this product. Couldn't recommend it anymore. I have combination skin um, more on the dry side, so if you have dry skin, you'd probably really like this. Let's get over. You helping? You helping? 
Okay, for blush, I've been using two different blushes depending on what I'm doing. Sean got this for me, this Too Faced Natural Face Palette for Valentine's Day, and I've really, the most that, thing that I use out of it is the cream blush and the blush powder. So what I do is I put the cream blush on and then put a little bit of the powdered blush over the top. And unfortunately, it doesn't have colors on here, so I think, are the names of the colors, so I think you can only get it in a specific palette, which is kind of unfortunate. The second blush that I've really been enjoying is Orgasm from NARS, and my cousin actually gave me this palette, and I think it's got their Albatross um, Illuminator in there as well, and I've absolutely been loving Orgasm. I usually wear it when I want to be a little bit more fixed up going out, because it does have a little bit of glitter, not quite as much as the Super Orgasm, but I really love this color on my skin. I think it's really beautiful. For for fair skin. So if you're fair skinned, you'd probably really like the orgasm. Okay, so next, lip products that I've been using. Um, for my higher end lip product, I've been using MAC Cross Wires. Let me put it on my hand so you can see what that looks like. Beautiful coral pink color. I wanted to do coral, but I was a little nervous about going full on coral. So the lady recommended this one to me and I wear it all the time. I absolutely love this. And then for a um, drugstore uh, purchase, I have the Revlon Berry Smoothie Color Burst Lip Butter. And I strongly re recommend these lip butters. It's what I'm wearing today. And I just find this color to be very beautiful, very natural, but with a burst of color as well. So that's that top one. It's very berry. Yes, love it. So those have been my two main colors that I've been wearing this summer for uh, lip products. My, oh, and then I wanted to say also, so I have that on the top and then on the bottom of this is the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain in Sweetheart Valentine. So that's what that looks like and it's just on the bottom um, and that's really a nice bright pink. It's on the bottom there. I think that just looks very nice. Okay, so then on to mascaras. Mascara that I've really been wearing a lot of and recommending highly is the Rimmel Volume Accelerator. Accelerator. I've never had a mascara that lengthened my eyelashes as much as this one does. And this one's in 003 Extreme Black. This is what the bristle looks like, the applicator looks like. Again, it just is great for my eyelashes. I don't I haven't really been blessed with long eyelashes and I think it really does a great job of lengthening them and giving them more of an accent look. Okay. Oh, for accessories I forgot to do my Pandora bracelet. That so the scarves and then for jewelry, this has been my main piece of jewelry that I just really haven't taken off very much. This is my Pandora bracelet that I was given for my birthday. So these are two of the clasps and then one of the charms. I wear this all the time. I think this is one of the first days that I haven't worn it. And I just find it very classy. I can't wait to get more charms. I'm really excited for people to gift them to me. They're rather expensive. Pandora's a higher end charm. So it's something that I'm going to be able to pass down to my children as a heirloom. So I'm really loving that. Let's see, what else do I have? Looks like the last thing that I have to do is eyeshadow. The eyeshadow that I've really been enjoying is the Naked Palette, more of the sheer natural um, taupey colors over on the left. I probably pretty much wear all of them this summer. I uh, really enjoy those. And then I have been absolutely adoring this um, eyeshadow from MAC, this little duo. It's called Fresh and Mint, and it comes out very like turquoise teal but light like just a light powdered and then the white comes out very bright it just makes your face look very bright and um, I think it looks romantic very fun and fresh I think that this is just a great um, item to have in your collection if you don't have anything similar to this it does have a little bit of no it's no glitter but it is pretty uh, sheer very very beautiful it does have good coverage it lasts stays on your eyes a long time so i really highly recommend this so thanks guys for watching my summer most worn things tag i would love for you to post a video response of your favorite items that you've worn this summer 
I love seeing what other people wear and what you've been into so I can try them and see how I like them. Uh oh, so the girls have decided to fight. Come here, Sophie. Anyways, guys, have a great day, and I will be doing my next video soon. I'm planning on doing a, a nightly routine video. That'll be my next video out, and then I'm also going to do a closet tour. Please don't fight. Please don't fight. That's your bone. All right, bye, you guys. <laughs>